Here we are. Game three, Bath versus Cambridge in the final. Max, what do you think? Cambridge have banned Phoenix. Are Dyer they going to ban the Kunku? Um, there's a lot of things they want to ban if they want to just go for respect bans here. Um, so they don't ban they don't ban the Kunker. They think they can Radiant find a way to deal with it if it gets picked again. I don't know if it will get picked again. We'll see. Um, obviously, a two-game lead for Bath right now. They can take this game, and this is a 3-0 series, and they win. And that's it. Yep. So Cambridge really do need to pull something out, but we've already seen Bath Ten seconds beat remaining. Cambridge with Bristleback, which they stomped a game with Dyer yesterday. Zeus, which has won almost every game that's been played up until Radiant this point. It won three out of four games yesterday. Obviously, it hasn't won today. I think that the, the Tusk pick here is really good. Yep. Um, for one thing, if there's a boat incoming, you've got dodge potential there. And also, they Bath demonstrated the utility that the Radiant Tusk has. He was pick. instrumental, I think, in them being able to roll over Cambridge in that last game. They have picked up the Venge. She's been almost uh, ever present in these games, I think, uh, of course, uh, today and yesterday. She's a lot of games she uh, cropped up in. Uh, Death Prophet has been banned, but there are plenty of mids left for Bath to pick up, and they've gone for the Kunker again. Straight for the Kunker. I mean, why not? It worked so well. Yep. It's uh, Ollie's, clearly Ollie's favourite hero. He's very, very good on it. So, what a Cambridge comeback with here. How do you counter uh, a, a rampant Kunker? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to pick a counter with only just these two. Only just these two, you know, heroes picked. I think they can maybe pick. I don't know. They could pick something like a timber saw just to do loads of damage to the conqueror. I'm not really sure what exactly they can do to sort him out. They had the Zeus last game, which in theory should be good. It's a lot of burst damage and some uh, percentage damage from the static field as well. But um, Ollie, so good at the conqueror, always gets the um, the rum. What's the yeah. rum called? The, uh, the overhaul of his team. On the rum, yeah, um, yeah, he does. I, I mean the. The thing Five is, um, he roamed very early on, Radiant and he seemed to be in every back. lane. <laughs> Got haste runes exactly when he, need, when he needed them, Dyer but uh, I think uh, take nothing away from that performance. That was fantastic. Shadow Shaman, though, Team Cambridge, maybe fall back on a more straightforward uh, pushing lineup. I'm not sure what they could do here, but uh, yeah, I, th I think one way. What, what would you say would, would be Cambridge's signature heroes remaining. that they'll want to go for? Well, the, the one thing is that Cambridge Five is playing with remaining. at least one stand in here. I don't know if it's one or two. Um, last patch when I saw Cambridge play quite Reserve a lot, time. they pulled out the Windrunner really often. Diz Luffy plays a really good Windrunner. Um, they also played a lot of Invoker, um, which obviously didn't work out that well for them previously. I'm not sure if there's any particular heroes Radiant that they can pick, back. whether it's for them or as you know a counter towards Bath. But I think the one thing they will need to do, if this is going to be a conquer mid, which uh, it makes sense that it will be, because it was last game, is just to have more map control. Like you said, the Ten fact that conquer got remaining. every rune, every rune that he needed, he got double damage, he got haste, every time he needed Five to be somewhere, remaining. he was there. They need to have some map control and make sure that he just can't do what he's obviously capable of doing on conquer and just walk Radiant all over the map and hit. just take complete control. They need to I, find a I way to have map control. I think the interesting thing is, they were up against the Spirit Breaker. He should give you that map control, that anti-gank control, but he just couldn't get anything going. Um, I mean, Bristol should have been fine in lane, died a few times in lane to Moran Avenge. Uh, it, it didn't seem to come together for Cambridge, and that opened up that space for Kunker to just go do what he wants. So I think the Cambridge could go for a couple of options. They could go for a much safer Earth lineup. Spirit. Earth Spirit picked up here by Bath. Another hero Dyer that you were talking about yesterday should be turning up should be doing a lot of damage and just arriving and, and killing people. And I think actually Minnie was saying the same thing, that he should be the guy that's arriving. Surprise, there's an Earth Spirit here. Um, and with the Kunker as well, that is a strong combo. Kind of a replacement for the Tusk and giving you that engagement potential, that pull potential. Nyx Assassin Radiant picked up here by Cambridge, so maybe they're going to answer with ganks of their own, rotations of their own. See if they can outplay Bath at their own game. It's a weird pick right now. I'm not really sure what the purpose of the Nyx Assassin is supposed to be right now. Obviously, we were talking... Oh, Weaver, look at that. Yeah. We've seen this before. Um, Nyx, I'm not really sure what his purpose is, apart from, you know, roaming around, getting some levels early, just trying to stop, just trying to gain the best map control he can. But uh, there's not... It's not that big. Obviously, he does have the potential to catch some heroes on their own in the jungle and stuff like that, but none of these heroes are particularly easy kills. Even the Venge has really high armor, so... The, Vendetta damage isn't going to do that much. Ten yeah, seconds. I think yeah, also he tends to benefit from being against int heroes. So uh -huh. far, Bath don't have a single Five int hero. Exactly. Yeah, two strength, exactly. two agi. So 
It's going to be interesting to see uh, what they can do with him. He is, I will say this, he is extremely time. useful uh, in a variety of ways, not just for that solo ganking, but Spike Carapace is really good. Uh, he does have a nice stun. They do have lots of stuns, Shadow Shaman and Nyx Assassin. So uh, we'll have to see what they can do here. But they're so far relying a lot, I think, on um, the Tusk and Nyx Assassin combo working. Maybe it will. But uh, Spectre, that's their late game insurance. Uh, can they create the space that Spectre needs to farm? Uh, so far, I don't think Spectre's had a huge impact in the tournament so far. No. I think the one Spectre game that we saw, the Spectre didn't, wasn't able to build Radiance Dire because she needed to fight so much in the early game. So it ended up being like a, a killer drum defusal game yeah, or something yeah. like that, and Spectre just didn't have the impact required. I, I just want to say that the, the draft so far, the, the picks and the bands have been really very smart. I think the Death Prophet and the Viper bands, um, when they obviously wanted to run the Gunker, were very, very good. So being able to kite the Gunker around, make I'm sure you can't actually get any big right clicks off, go on. The Nyx pick is almost so that Bath can't pick, uh, although I don't think they would here, but they can't pick an Invoker, uh, but Cambridge still could. You could still pick an Invoker Ten for Cambridge if you wanted remaining. as the mid. Uh, Invoker hasn't been banned, he's still there. All right, didn't work out for the last seconds, game, but he is still remaining. a very strong hero. Uh, there's also OD available for Cambridge here. It would be a pretty bad pick Reserve for Bath time. at this point, but... Uh, Cambridge could definitely run it, and I don't think there's too much here to deal with it. It's not very good against the Weaver, um, but some of the other heroes there it could really chew through them, I think. Yep, definitely. Uh, so what do Bath need here? We've, I mean, we saw them, we've seen them run Kunker mid, and we've seen them run Weaver mid. Yep, they're, they're leaving it. I mean, both heroes as well crushed their lanes, so uh, they could run it either way. Um, I do think it'll probably be uh, a Weaver in the safe lane and Kunker mid. But maybe they'll see what Cambridge come up with as uh, their mid hero. Could even be a mid Nyx, you never know. But uh, I, I don't think it will be. Oh, a lot of the... Uh, Legion oh, Commander! Legion. There we go. <laughs> Legion, interesting. Dire I think team. really good pick. Uh, good against the Spectre. Get in there. Duel the Spectre, he can't escape. Um, and they've got the damage to pump on it. Weaver and Conker could do a huge amount of damage uh, to, to Legion's uh, to target. So interesting, very interesting. Cambridge here with this fifth pick will define what kind of game style they're going to go for. They desperately need to win this game, remember. Yeah, and if... Uh, Ten seconds yeah, they, they need to find a mid laner that's going to be able to deal with this Well, OD is actually an even Five better pick right now. The OD can always either Astro imprison the Legion Commander or more importantly the person that the Legion Commander duels me. Do end up going for the Queen It's a co-op instead. <laughs> Maybe um, the first one we've seen. Yeah... Yeah, I think, no, I think we might have seen her once tomorrow, I, uh, yesterday, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm almost sure we saw a co-op. So it is Ollie again playing the Kunker. Yep, and why not? So, we have got Bay, who played that jug so well in the first game of the day, uh, on the Legion, Spirit on the uh, Venge, we got battle. Old Driver on the Earth Spirit, Ollie on the Kunker, his signature Kunker, and BYFD on the Weaver. Who have we got on the Dire team? So we have Burge, the carry, playing the Spectre again. We have Bursa the Highlander on the Nyx. There's Luffy playing the Queen of Pain, Kingfisher on the Tusk. And finally, we have 5 7 on the Shadow Shaman. Shout out to the crowd. Ollie trying to curry favor early on here. And my dad. Go. Bless him. I think um, Bath kind of been the crowd favourites here. Let's see if uh, Cambridge can pull out a fun game and maybe I'm the energy of the crowd can turn this around for him. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually disappointed there's no Undying because the, uh, the new Undying taunt is probably the best Dota item ever created. Uh, uh, can you describe it to me? Imagine someone doing the dance from Michael Jackson's Thriller. Can you show us on stage? No, <laughs> uh, that, that is the new Undying taunt. And you can taunt... <laughs> done two stone out of the bushes doing the moonwalk. It's probably my favorite thing. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. I like the uh, Tidehunter one as well, the, you know, the one where he swims around on the floor. Yeah, Are we going to see a fight break I think here? this is. We uh, we kind of saw a, a bit of this last time. Both teams probably fancy their chances. Uh, there goes a rock right through the middle of them. Oh, and then she goes for it. Gets gets it. Well, she's going to die for it. There's no way she's going to die. The shackle uh, from the Shadow Shaman making sure she's not going anywhere. But hey, she's got half a level. 
and uh, Ollie's gonna go pick up the bot one, so I guess that's kind of cool. worth it. First blood for a double rune, so it's at least close. Even, even-ish. Uh, and it is gonna be Old Driver up in this, this scary tri lane of Tusk, Shadow Shaman, and Spectre, but he's gonna be babysitting the Weaver uh, in the bot lane. It's gonna be Legion and Venge up against, where is he? Hello, Nyx, and uh, mid it will be Quop <laughs> against Ollie. Oh, Weaver, he might be in trouble here. He does just about get off the Shikuchi. Thought he was going to get shackled there, and that might be the end of him. But yeah, they do have that potential uh, control with the shackle uh, on the Weaver, but um, uh, to counter the Spectre, I think the Legion as the Legion's really good against Quop as well. So uh, I think they need to make sure that Bay gets his levels, gets a nice fast blink or Shadow Blade, whichever he goes for. Could be some action top here. Still Quite trying to able to escape. Still yeah. Sentry's the, uh, back in base on the Shadow Shaman, but there's none being placed yet, so... Yep, Shadow Shaman's just waiting on the curry, you can't get to it. He's ferrying a salve out mid to the Quop. Uh, not having the best of times, I guess, against Kunka. Once he gets that Tidebringer up, easy for him to get some harass on you. But, any time a melee carry walks up, he's going to be giving him that dagger, so... Lots That's of exchanges yeah. between the two of them. Uh, Kunka is going to have his bottle soon. He's I'd say a couple of turns on the Queen of Pain just to try and harass her away, but like you said, she does have that valve now ready. Kunk has one of his own two, he's taken quite a bit of damage from the HQs, yeah, which is now level two. Comes at a great cost, any bit of farm that he's going to get. Nyx is just uh, trying to get some levels here, doesn't really need a huge amount of farm. I guess get a couple of levels, go maybe try and kill the Kunka. So Quop is leading the way in farm, as you would expect. Um, trouble for Ollie. But um, he's out of mana already, and Quop is dominating this lane so far. Yeah, he does only need another. He can wait for this tick call through his bottle, not coming out, coming out in a little while. But this is a very, very hard move for Conker. It's not going to be. I don't think we're going to see the same thing we saw last time, where Conker is just going to have all the space in the world and be able to take over. It's possible that maybe some rotations might be available to come and help him out. Not going to be any contest with this bounty ring, I don't think. There's. Actually, <laughs> Queen of Pain just about gets it. I thought the Earth, Earth Spirit was going to get that. Queen got the Bounty Rune, and uh, Bottle coming out now for Ollie on the Courier. Um, Bot lane, we see the Nyx Assassin. He hasn't been able to find any CS yet. He's just creeping around in the trees, yep. Venge chasing him into an out. I think uh, I think he's right. He could take an awful lot of damage. And uh, although he has he hasn't actually leveled up the Carapace, but um, it is handy when you get when someone goes on you. But I think he just wants the levels on on. Uh, on the, the little bug man so far. Oh, we missed a kill, for God's sake. Shadow Shaman was killed by neutrals, able to deny himself to neutrals, so I guess that uh, Weaver and Earth Spirit went on him. I would guess he took a lot yeah. of damage and denied himself. Impressive that he managed to deny to though, just as a small camp there. Do sorry, much sorry for missing that. Bane as well. Shit! Dives mid lane with a tusk. I mean, darn it. <laughs> Golly gosh. Can you you got to shout at me when stuff's happening, all right? I'm <laughs> I, 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 I didn't see either. I didn't <laughs> see either. It's here as well. I try and pay closer attention. Now, with the Shadow Shaman not here, Weaver is able to move forward and he is almost equal to the Spectre on farm now. Whilst they're left 1v1, the Weaver will, will win this. Yeah, I think this, is, um, this is far better for, for Bath that they can. Uh, the Weaver can just chill. Uh, get some farm. It's as you said, much harder for the Spectre. I don't. I don't think the Weaver is necessarily going to kill him, but uh, he's certainly not going to have a great time of it. Quops farming nicely. Uh, only the Legion is is farming better than her, as you would expect against a Nyx that's just kind of hiding out. The Legion is having a good time of it. Uh, the Legion should be able to farm up as much as you want in this lane now. We saw last oh, with the engagement coming out top. The Folks do hit, but the, the Hex goes out onto the Weaver whilst he's already in Shikuchi now. There's a Shackle going out to the Earth Spirit, but there's not really any potential to do any damage now. They need to pick a target, pick a target, and I think it is going to be the Shadow Shaman going yep, out. The Fairy Fire goes. is used by the Weaver, and now the oh, Folks this are could be on bad. the Spectre, really, and it's going to really be double kill. Bar. Double kill for Weaver. Uh, oh, and uh, kill mid on the Venge, who tried to rotate, I think, to try and kill the Quop. Torrent won't quite catch, but uh, action all over. This is similar to last game. There was action in every lane from pretty early on. 3-2 uh, already at the 5th minute. Was uh, very close to a clean of pain killer there, but she had maybe 150 HP. Oh, there's the turret! Oh. I mean, that, I think that's the problem that Shadow Shaman's going to have, is that Weaver's going to be skirting around the edges of these fights. Anytime he shackles someone, he's going to eat Geminate attacks. 
and he yeah. is going to suffer from that uh, from that Weaver. Yeah, the Weaver is really going to be all over these heroes. The the Shadow Shaman is just going to be torn apart, and the, the Tusk also. The Tusk can obviously hide in the snowball, but then. The Weaver, if he's the one that's targeted, can just run right towards his own towers or his own team and drag the Tusk with him. So, Weaver pretty good against a, a better pick than it was in the game where they picked it yesterday, that's for sure. But we won, we won that game, we'll see how much impact he can have this time. And hopefully the Conqueror isn't going to be sacked too Dyer's hard as a sacrifice. Under attack. I think, uh, well, he's got about... Well, he's got half the farm of the, uh, the Legion, but as I said, the Legion is, is having a great time down here, just farming it up. Rotates to the jungle for a bit of easy farm there. Leads Avenge up against the Nyx. Try and get some levels in her. That swap is going to be big for them. But uh, Akuchi around the back here. This is all pressure on the Spectre. Just mental pressure. And this is what we were talking about. Oh, Venge in trouble though, actually. Getting chased down. And she will drop. Nyx able to pick up a kill there on the Venge. Tusk rotated down. But uh, what I was going to say was that the Earth Spirit could come flying out of the bushes at any moment. And that's something that... Uh, Cambridge need to be aware of. Yeah, the Legion has just hit level 6 right now, but she opted for the Tread, so she's not going to be able to, you know, get right in the middle of these fights too much. Anytime soon without a Blink yeah. Dagger, without a Shadow Blade. It's interesting that she chose not to even go for the Miners now. And Kunker, that ain't going to do it. Sat here in an Invis, there's a Spirit trying to throw some boulders across the river, but it's not going to do enough. Nowhere near for a gank. Nyx, since then, uh, thanks to that kill, has actually hit the level 6, so yep. it could be his time to rotate soon. He's got a clarity going there. Then that, when he gets the mana for the Vendetta, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go. See if he can find someone in the jungle or maybe help out. There he goes, the Earth Spirit is trying to get this swap. <laughs> Doesn't get the silence the on her, but yeah, so. this is trouble. Gets the X back. Very nice. Good combo. Uh, meanwhile, Tom, look at this. So irritating up against the Weaver. That Geminate attack. Is so powerful at harassing in lane, and uh, Spectre really can't approach a creep wave. Has actually managed 29 last hit, so that's that's impressive in itself. Picked up, obviously, when the opportunity is uh, presented itself, has got all the farm the Spectre can, so well done there. But uh, Tusk roaming around looking for some action. Yep, the farm only slightly in favour of Bath right now, but there are also those two extra kills on Cambridge now. Here comes the uh, potential trouble here. Walking up the hill will be spotted by the Legion. Oh, Snowball for the, the save snowball and, the and into Horn. As well. But Kunker is looking into the back. You can see this based on the Horns as well. I don't yeah. know how they're going to disengage. Oh, that the goes Venge straight the away. away. Goes for the jewel. And yeah, there's the first jewel victory. The Weaver Weaver's is moved out here as well. Queen of Pain is here. She has an ult. She uses oh, it. It only hits a one somehow. Did nothing. Well, oh, there's a nice time. The damage gets taken they off get the time Spectre. Lapse. Can they get the Quap? I don't think they can. going to be a blink here, but there's also a haste at the bottom of the hill, Queen of Pain's going to make sure she gets that for herself, and that was a two for nothing, and they used the haunt, they used the sonic wave, and neither of them did anything at all. I, I would be pinging this Nyx like crazy, he could have easily run <laughs> over into this fight, picked up a kill, but no, didn't want any part of it. Yeah, it, I mean, I guess it can be hard for Nyx to have have an impact as early as he wants to, because you, you kind of do need to get a blink dagger to have the impacts that you need to have in fights, you know, it's possible to find somebody on their own and make sure you can get the hit and then the stun off afterwards, but it's it's hard to get in there and have a big impact without any real items on the mix. And what's he just picked up actually? Is mana boots. Mana boots oh, on he's the just Knicks. got mana boots. Okay. I, I think that that might have been a part of it. He was very close to mana boots, probably one of those. It is much harder to land your uh, your combo and really be be able to use your full utility, because uh, if you think about Nyx, his stun is on a pretty low cooldown. Look at that, 13 seconds. Start a fight with that, pick up a kill towards the end of a fight with that. If you haven't got the mana for it, you'll feel a bit sort of hamstrung. But Weaver, doing great on farm, but hey, this Legion, 64 last hits, having a ball. You go yeah. straight blink here now, oh, trouble mid. Yeah, nice there's a boat right on they top will of be able to blink away, but the Shadow But there's the Nyx. There he is, he might pick up a kill he here. He get the no, he can't pain. actually get him. Everyone is super low, he's oh, no going to die here. The Weaver now comes in as will well. Will he be able to get a jewel? gets a jewel to the Nyx, but I don't think there's going to be enough damage to take out the Nyx in the duration of this jewel, but will kill him at the end. There is a dagger on the counter. Oh, he gets purged off by the Legion, that is really big. Yeah, Actually, there are a couple nice. of ways here that the uh, the Quap has been sort of counterfeit. The Dagger can get purged, they can X her. So it is going to be quite tricky for her to have uh, the impact that she'd want. Yeah, and now Legion Commander up to 1800 gold. If she wants to get a Blink Dagger, she will be able to, and that will just mean that the jewels are coming out wherever they need to be in that fight. There could have been a one-shot. Oh, there's a Haunt actually going bottom. This Venge is not going to be getting out of this one. Tusk will claim that kill. 
had to just move down there to make sure there was no yep. way that the bench could get away. Pushed right up to the tower there. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, greedy, wanted to get some, some farm, but uh, managed to pick up the recipe from a medallion. So four out before he died, I suspect. Yep. Weaver just doing all the usual Weaver things. He's building up uh, the kind of standard items. I imagine he'll probably go and be going for a Desolator after this. That's what he did yesterday. It's Absolutely. just such a uh, hugely efficient yeah, item was on the Weaver. I think the other thing is he gives you that potential to split Dyer's push, uh, which they attack. need. They need to be able to apply pressure elsewhere. But uh, let's see if we can get something going on him. It's, it's going to be difficult. Well, there's about Dyer's to be a medallion of courage big on the Vengeful Spirit. So that's going to be a lot of minus armor. Already two points in the wave of terror. Yeah. It's a nice high behind the yep. Weaver in top lane, top but they seem to know attack. something. Earth Spirit no, is just they, back they in the ran off the Earth Spirit, but they, nothing was able to happen. They saw him just there. Yep. He just dipped in. A sentry ward. So they've left the Avenger sure. off down here again uh, by herself. Uh, I think they're just hoping that she can pick up some last hits and levels. And now Nyx gets silenced and stunned by the yeah. Earth Spirit. But the that Carapace doing work. Can't get the shackle off. Manages to chicken him. Oh, does have feeling like he might dive, but there are a lot of stuns. Uh, yeah. Bowling ball man. Look how far he goes. Ridiculous. Across the map. Gunker starting to do all right, but still only 30 CS. Uh, the Spectre and the Quap both out farming him. Haven't haven't seen Ollie uh, having the same impact in this game. He did the last one. There's a nice chill. Gets the stun off. Oh, the stun from Nick. There's a swap. Manages to get the kill. Wasn't a dual win, but it doesn't matter. Can Legion escape this? A lot of damage going in. They're chasing down the Venge. Uh, Legion has the blink and she's away. There is a boat. Torrent. Nice pick Nice pickup. And Weaver, meanwhile, yep. also gets the shot. Oh. Shot on Adam. Oh, also the scream! Ex -back actually, only catches the Weaver. He doesn't have his ult. Wait for the blink till afterwards, but it's not going to make a difference. The torrent wow, was just perfectly but. timed by Ollie. We were just saying he was sure going to have an impact, and there you go. Secure three of those. Absolutely kills huge. I mean, that's what you want. If you're not having the best time in lane. You hope you can help out in a fight and turn it around in favor of your team, and they did that. Uh, this Weaver yet again showing what a great pick it is by Bath here. Uh, he plays him really well, dips in and out of the fights, always seems to turn up at just the right time to, to turn the fight around. Yeah, the, the Mithril Hammer picked up already, attack. so that's part way towards that Death Orator, which is just going to do so, just crazy amounts of damage. The Spectre will have a decent Dyer's amount of armor to deal with it, and fast. actually hasn't picked up any levels of the dispersion yet, so even the, even the Spectre will be going down pretty fast. And that is the first tower of the game, going the way of Bath. And uh, Legion is leading the way in farm and uh, 205. So only 10 damage uh, from the jewels, but it doesn't matter. With that farm, that's made up for that by, uh, by just being uh, being the good farmer. There's a whole two is going for. Oh. Okay, it's the Earth Spirit on top lane. The Nyx caught the Earth Spirit in the Invis there, and the Queen of Pain blinked in just to make sure. There's no way that we're getting out. The Queen of Pain is going to be going for the Orc in this game. Do you think there's someone in particular that's for? I guess the Weaver is very good against it if you catch yep. the Earth Spirit Weaver, as well. Weaver, Earth Spirit. Um, I g maybe even Kunker. I mean, you know, he wants to be able to get his combo off. If you can silence him, that would really help a lot. As we've seen, all of these fights does a lot of damage. Spots onto the Queen of Pain, which actually prompts three TPs yep. <laughs> from the team, but he just walks away from it, Dyer's so space created. I mean, that's that's perfect. Um, that means that they can carry on farming, um, and they just brought their whole team here. They might well have to defend this, though. Uh, Shadow Shaman top is top only is level attack. four, which is not great. They've got to get some oh. levels on him. And uh, meanwhile, Weaver will split push top. We know this can only be a single TP. But it is Nyx, so he's going to think better of it and back up. Yeah, the Shaman's so far behind. We saw quite often we see those five position supports or the roaming supports that get along with the island levels, but this is really something else. He just needs to find something somewhere, stick with the Spectre while she's farming in the jungle or something. He needs to find some levels, needs to participate in some kills maybe. He's 1-5-1, one, and one, so yeah. having a very hard time, especially against this Weaver. He's also, uh, the Tusk is also only level 5, so... The, the two uh, the two supports have really not been able to find any space. Compare that to the fact Dying that Bath were able to leave the Venge on her own. She's level 8. They left her down here. Alright, she died, but she picked up three levels doing it. Finished the medallion. Yeah, the XP graph actually was 5,000 in favor Ooh. of Bath right now. And uh, 4k gold. 
Yep, that uh, tower, extra farm on the Legion. Yeah, yeah, Cambridge need to really pull something together here. What, what, what is their approach? What do they do? Um, I'm not really sure. I guess it depends on the play perspective. It's been time for to go in the pocket now. And if there was ever a God, what anyway. a hero! Come on! Yeah, I thought he was going to get caught there, but just rolls Dying's away. Bottom tower is under attack. It's taking a lot of damage just from neutrals here. Yeah, I feel like this kind of has to be a Radiance game to just for Cambridge to have a chance later on. But I, I don't know if that's going to be the choice or not. I don't know if that's going to leave her too kind of useless when the when the Legion and Weaver kind of hit their their power spikes with the Desolator and now a blink up onto the Nyx Assassin. They should just about have enough damage here. Oh. Yeah, with the boulder from the Earth Spirit. That will do it. That was quick. Holy yeah. mackerel. Yeah, the Nyx not a particularly easy hero to take down. He does have the six armor. He's not, not squishy, but he got him. And that is, was that level two jewel? I assume so. Was he has a 24 damage up yep. the Legion Commander now. She's, uh, she's been left pretty much on her own, the Legion. Um, been able to farm, been able to uh, to get those levels solo. Tucker could be in trouble here. Yeah, uses the screen, uses Sonic everything. Now Rom will buy him a bit of time. Himself, but it's not gonna do Can they get anything done here? Earth Spirit ain't stopping. He's going in, gets his ult off. That's a lot of damage. Nice and grouped up. As well. Don't know if it's going to be enough. They need some help. Uh, the Weaver's going to try chasing. and get something done in here. Nyx loitering around the outside. The stone I just catches. I to get the Earth Spirit actually with Tuss. Oh. The swap was really good by Ven. Yeah. That gets him right out. That swap saved him. And Weaver can now chase him down. So good at this. Yeah. Whoa, one the Jemmy attack well takes care of the Oh, no, so Nyx. much damage. The Nyx almost goes down. Weaver. Yeah, Weaver just 1v1 the Queen of Bane here. To oh, and it now comes the jewel. Is here. Perfect timing no from the Legion. From the and and now they're, they're going to chase him down as well. Is up, but it doesn't matter. I think I'm just going to punch it out. He's going to get the Weaver, I think. No, the Weaver lives. You've got to be kidding me. Don't have anything the dagger, the, He's the escaping. Salve. He did salve. I think he's got an earn charge on him, so he might well die here. They might pick up two. Okay, just further. about get him. Wow. I Spectre just got a thousand gold from that Weaver kill. Okay, oh. that's big. Spectre on 3.2k gold. Buck, what's Koki going to do? Drop a torrent, drop a boat, ton of damage. Spectre's going to try and walk it off. Has Shadow Shaman there backing him up. Shadow Shaman almost level 6. That was a huge fight. The, the overall gold exchange from that fight was almost even. But you know, Weaver, uh, Weaver in Legion got 600 gold each, but then 1400 in the end onto the Spectre. The, that kind of couldn't go on any worse hero. Yeah, for uh, real. Uh -oh. <laughs> that is just definitely Cambridge's way back into this game. That's half a relic just from a haunt and a dagger, really, is all the Spectre had to do in that fight. But um, I think Bath are going to keep this pressure up until that point when Spectre gets that Radiance. I think this is their, their time to really push, really fight, and then just uh, try and maybe Forced the Spectre to fight uh, and defend, but as it is at the moment, Spectre, like you said, very close now, and they need to really start pushing objectives, forcing the game in, into. Uh, well, see, I don't yep. think Cambridge are going to want to defend this, for instance. They can take Russia just absurd with the Desolator, the Howl from the Vengeance, and also the Howl is just going to be gone. Hicks is trying to find some really in this, and just end up using the Vendetta Strike on a creep, even had a double damage. Uh, the Spectre does have the whole fill, but if he wants to find a fight as well, then just going to try and find an exchange with Weaver, gets the Aegis from far. And now, uh, I think at this point, this is probably their best shot for pushing, trying to get a fight going, they've got everything, but instead, Earth Spirit's gone top, and uh, we've got Perfect Legion Commander location. mid, just farming. Legion Commander is just absurdly farmed this game, we've seen yeah, that yeah. This, this seems to happen. Every game that Bath play, whether it's Juggernaut or this game, it's Legion. One hero just gets so much space created for them, and they just get so so rich. And Legion already has the Link and Blade Mail, and he's about to be the peak in less than a thousand gold away. The first set of snakes that drops top, and Spectre has just bought the Relic, not the Radiance yet. Yep. When that does happen, we'll see if that can change the fights. But uh, I do still think. They do have a lead to overcome. Manages to get the old quad bolt as well. Catch the Earth Spirit, but he he does go down in the end. They manage to take out the Nyx. Oh, so much damage! The quad just gets blown up. So they Jewel. lose an Earth Spirit. Yeah, oh, the swap! The takes shaman. out a Shadow Shaman too. Legion doesn't have Jewel, but just giving the punch down. Spectre is here. Has to run away. Blink is up. Just misses.
Yeah, I don't I'm think not sure they've got the mana to deal with this. Yeah. It'd yeah, be great if they could, but no set him back. They're very close. <laughs> In a few seconds, there will be a stun from Venge, but I don't know if that will be enough. Could no, be. I think, I think he's just going to walk away. Here. Yeah, partly done. I mean, you were talking about the levels on the supports earlier, and I think that, that fight just showed it more than anything. The level 1 Serpent Wards from the level 6 Shadow Shaman did, didn't even take the tower down to much under half. Yep, and look meanwhile, at that. Venge had the level 2 swap, which was able to cancel that TP at the end and make sure they got that extra kill. Just the, the levels on these supports make so much difference. Yeah, and Venge it really getting does. that boost from the bot lane. The only thing is that uh, because of this Weaver, it's Weaver. doing so well. They found the Spectre. Oh, can they get the jewel again? Oh, the jewel. boy. Plus 66 damage on the Legion. Yep, and Spectre um, loses all her gold there, back down to 80 gold, so it's going to be a good minute at least to lay on that Radiance, which is a big deal in this game. That is. Do you feel like uh, going for the Radiance was maybe a little optimistic from the way the early game went, or do you think that uh, Quark was doing well against the Kunker, Spectre was farming okay, why not go for it? I think, I think she didn't have a choice. I think to be able to have the, have the impact um, that she really wanted to do really wanted to have in this game, just being able to throw out a little bit of extra damage in the yeah. fight wasn't going to be enough. She needs a tool to get super farmed in the late game. She needs to be able to, you know, to have some control in the team fight, supply the mischance, whatever else. I think it was just so necessary this game, but it may not even be enough. I mean, the thing is, if honestly, after they had that fight mid and the Spectre ended up with all that money, her hand was basically forced. I think it's like, well, Dyer's I'd be foolish not to get one. It's not going to exactly. be a bad item. Exactly. And now I've been given a huge hand towards it. But yeah, getting very close. This uh, might actually be the recipe. Nope, it's not. And pretty much every game we've seen, defensive supports just do so much work. Uh, yeah, Venge, be Venge has been Dyer's huge in these yeah, games. Venge, Witch Doctor with the Voodoo Restoration has been really big. This game, all they've got is any kind of defensive maneuver is the snowball on the Tusk and Tusk cannot just be on top of the Spectre at all times. It's, it's not going to work. This is a, that is a really that. dirty combo, the X <laughs> on the Weaver. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, look at this. <laughs> the, and, he, and he's still at the Aegis. Yep. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, the level 2 time lapse as well, so only a 50 second cooldown on that. That's every 2 free waves, basically. So cheesy. Um, I, I don't know how they're going to stop this. The soft <laughs> wave is available, and so is the Orchid, but they've got two lives to get through on this Weaver. Venge is behind with a swap, Legion is behind Radiant's with Purge and the heal from the attack. attack. There's even the Earth Spirit there to stun some people, make sure they can't chase Radiant's this. is going to be a pretty successful search. Bot tier 1 does go down, but that's a worthwhile trade. Oh, he's going to get the tower, yep. Swap down, Nyx Assassin oh, doesn't have very a low, very low. Yep, Snakes go down. Oh, in. There's a jewel Nyx already gets blown up. Nyx. Shadow Shaman, there's a nice scream on the Earthspirit. And they pop the Aegis with that one move. But Bay doing work godlike with a double kill. And Weaver can just go and finish off that tower and back they go. They lost an Earth Spirit, but they killed a Shadow Shaman and, uh, and a tower. So, what on buff? Yeah, that works really well for them. Nice, like nice pick off from Nyx. Good exit kill. Oh, wait a second. Is it going to even second. work, though? Wait a second. Is there a jewel what in the middle? Why? The whole is the here, and that's not going to do enough either. Queen the of Pain, Quark. they want this kill. Wow, they're right. They get the Venge, but she goes down. A Spectre could be in trouble, too. <laughs> Weaver with the time lapse. Couple more gem and attacks. Here it is from Legion. Does she have it? Yes. Oh, my goodness. The Beatles did it. The Beatles. Oh. The Radiance was turned off on the Spectre. Oh. <laughs> oh! I think there must have been a panic click during that. <laughs> um, that that could have been the difference, a, a I don't factor. really know. Yeah, it's a factor, a factor. maybe. Um, and now this... Turns it on and comes back in. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go, Weaver's silence. They did pop the Aegis, remember? Uh, there we go, he's down. Yeah, 60 seconds, boat. Lands right on the Quap's face. But I'm not sure they want to fire, they want to disengage. No, they need to get out of here yep. now. They've stayed, they're they're stayed around for a long time. Under attack. And they, they're going to be disappointed because they did very nearly take the melee racks. I don't know if they'll want to sneak the Weaver back in to try and take that, but they're not going to have the creep wave, so... No, I think they definitely can. Oh, the silence, there's that Orchid you were talking about on the Earth Spirit doing a lot of work, but it should be an easy kill. And indeed it is. Oh, that's a nice little bit of turnaround from Cambridge there. They did have to spend two buybacks on that, but the Spectre already had the Radiance. 
Pyback cooldown down is off. She can get to farming. She's going to have another haunt in 30 seconds. I mean, the thing is, Legion does have 80 stolen damage. Yeah, that's um, that's really big now. That's really good. I think that provides that lockdown, that guaranteed lockdown that they need on Quop and uh, yeah, and on Spectre. If you look on the Courier as well, there's most of an AC on there already. The Plate Mail and the Hyperstone are already up. There's another 400 gold on the Legion, so it's going to be very close. Yep. This X on the Weaver is extremely BM, yeah, in my it's opinion. Rude. So much fun. Um, X trying to sneak around in the jungle. He has some dust on him, but there's no way he's going to be able to take out this Weaver. I thought that maybe the Weaver going straight for the Desolator might end up being punished this game. You know, quite often you oh, do see. Oh, oh, the trouble for Shaman! Oh, wow. One more to attack. No Tusk and he's going to get a Tusk as well. What are you doing? You can't Double find that. Double kill for Weaver. Holy moly. Meanwhile, around the back here, they're looking for the next. I didn't even catch. Oh, 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 nope. That All was right. very close. I think they did just see him on the ward there. I think they did just see him. And there's the TP cancelled as well. Legion is at the bottom of this hill. Oh, there's your jewel. Oh, they did get him. Three down. This is looking really bad for Cambridge. Yeah. Oh! Cambridge oh, on the feed right train on the right head now. Of Spectre. Yeah, Can they get the damage still, There's not the even going to be a hold to try and get oh, away from this. And Tide bring a hit. Buybacks from Tusk and Shadow Shamer. There's but no what buyback can they do on the Spectre. Here? I mean, Weaver alone can kill Tusk and Shadow Shamer with like five auto attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these wards just being... Bone down by the Legion. Let's get. It's a chicken. Still but she's BKB. still got the BKB. Look at Weaver. Yeah. Weaver just cleaning up. A Geminate Desso is, is unbelievable. Yeah. Does pain. Desperate. Let's get caught by two stuns. Look at the amount of damage that even the Venge is doing here with that medallion. They will save. Weaver wants here. Oh, that was close. Yep. And there goes Tusk. Two yeah, auto attacks and do it. Three down. This just, will be at least one lane. Yeah, they still haven't taken any lanes, but this will be it. Nyx is looking for an angle here, maybe on the Legion. Yeah, I think he probably will oh, get yeah, it here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That was good. 2,000 gold for the Nyx. Wow. What? And they dust him, they turn him, they boat him, yeah, they, they do it all. No buyback on the Nyx side now. I mean, getting that gold from the Legion killed, he had to try and do something, but. And they smoke and run. Yeah. I don't think they're going to get caught here, I think. No, that was really, really, really effective from uh, from Bath. Great sustain they had in that fight. So much damage from the Weaver. Uh, I mean, what can you do? If you're Shadow Shaman and Tusk, you're just going to get... He gives you the run around, he hits you a couple of times, you're half dead. Madness. Yeah, uh, and Weaver even gets a regen rune, so he's going to go and hunt for somebody as well. But I really like the man to pick up on the Weaver. Um, just all, all, his only threat really is the Orchid from the Queen of Pain and yep. the Manta. It's a great item on Weaver anyway. It gives him a lot of damage, it gives him attack speed, it gives him a little bit of survivability and oh, more wow. importantly. Oh, and now wow. look at the horn. Oh, the wow. Spectre, Spectre in trouble. Got You've no got to be time. kidding me. Time now, lapse, Quop now. Oh, two auto attacks almost okay, dead. So Weaver they, will they be get going the shackle. Down, yeah. yep, Weaver, they finally got him. Oh, he's still almost getting kills on the way out. So on his own, he can kill Spectre. Mm -hmm. It takes four other heroes to come in to finish him off. That isn't a good sign. But for that kill, Cambridge got 3,200 gold. And they've already got the Legion. So that's... It did, it did almost all go on the Shadow Shaman. He's got a Ghost Scepter. He is hugging this Ghost Scepter. <laughs> yeah. Thank God I got Ghost Scepter. <laughs> Um, the gold lead though, 25,000 in favour of Bath. That's <gasps> crazy. That's almost a thousand gold a minute at this stage. Jings. That's cr I don't think I've ever seen that. 25k, 25 minutes, 29 minutes. That's insane. Yeah, that's such a huge lead. And this was with a Conquer that got absolutely trashed in his lane. And didn't Cambridge also get first blood? I think so, yeah. But they did get the rune. <laughs> it's the rune of many wins. You get both runes, you win the game. Everybody knows that. And now there's a... Oh, Nick's oh, really going to the town this illusion. You can get it, son. Go on, never give up. And Queen of Pain is trying to build towards a BKB of her own. Still quite a bit of gold away from that. Here it's we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that Legion. Dual Spectre. I think the Legion was a brilliant pick. Absolutely brilliant pick. The Legion the has just worked out extremely well. 116 stolen damage now. Almost invincible with the AC, the BKB. What to? I don't know how Cambridge win this.
I mean, Pops of BKB guaranteed dual win on pretty much any hero now. Yeah, I mean, um, two heroes on the bath team can solo the yep. Spectre right now. Oh, they did silence her, but she gets glimmered, gives her the walk away. Weaver, of course, just comes in, hits the tower a couple of times, gives her the death so damage. A lot of damage from the quad there. Here comes a boat. Nice. He's going to land right on top of her. She is down for 72. This is looking pretty dire for the dire team. He okay, just goes for the TP out. Nope. In, in goes the bowling ball. Able to blink away the next guest. The duel off on the yeah, tusk. Oh, the tusk. 500 damage shot. in one hit there. Uh, I think this is probably going to be the game being called. Yeah, I, the spe I, the spectre will amazed. come up, use the haunt, unless all the radiant heroes die, this game is over. Really convincing stuff from Bath here. Really, really convincing. Yeah, there's the haunt, the, the spectre. The weaver is actually very close to going down, and he will get the weaver here just with the radiant spell. And, and gets the legion, wow, okay. Guys, kill the buildings, they're just going to focus on the buildings. Um, if they could get megas here, that would be really big, but. Is there comeback potential here? Would be an amazing comeback if they did. There goes a swap into TP. Really nice from Spirit. Oh, that was something else. Really well played. Man just to pick up the Earth Spirit though. Can he bowling ball away? No. So for the cost of a toss and a quap and almost three lanes of racks, just the range racks Lex left will not regen, of course. Uh, well, <laughs> what can you say? Gold difference over 25k, XP over 15k. Well, is it Cambridge's game now? Do they have a chance? <laughs> um, I mean, Spectre got a lot of money from that. Spectre is has just picked up the Yasha and something else. I don't know what the other item is. It might be a full Manta style that she's managed to get from that. There's also a Blink Dagger coming out for the Shadow Shaman as well, who was super far behind before. So these kind of gold injections from those big important kills, like the Legion and the Weaver have both died twice in the last five minutes or so. It helps, but realistically, I, how are they going to defend this Ranger Axe with half health? Because that's all they've got. That's yeah. it. I mean, Bath do have uh, only one tower down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> one. So any push is going to be a lot slower. They're going to need to start winning fights consistently and much harder than they have been. Uh, and I just think maybe the lead is, is too much. But I still believe... We can go to game four. You do have a Spectre with Radiance, and I've said before, Spectre gets Radiance, the game is over. So maybe that will be the case in this game. Yep, Spectre, now that's a Manta style flying out, so it's gone from just a Radiance to having a Manta style. But look, did you wow, see that was quick. That, that was out. quick. Yep. All right, here we go. Yep, there it is. <laughs> There's the line drawn. Thank you for drawing that. I didn't know where that Rax was, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> and the... Oh, look at his items. Asha, yeah. Right. I don't know how you kill this guy. Skittering around at the front. He does have the dagger on him, but... Good luck, lads. There's no 45. That's it. Mega That's Greeks, Vegas. they do. Get the BKB off. Oh, the interruption! The Weaver Spirit. doing so much! They do get the Quab's Grieve off, but Weaver absolutely dominating. Double kill for Ollie as well. Uh, Spectre giving it the run around with the Radiance. Can't really do much. Oh my goodness me. The MKB on uh, on Weaver means the Radiance does absolutely nothing. And there's the GG call yep, there we by go. Cambridge. Bath did it. Congratulations to Bath. Yep. Fantastic 3 0 performance in the finals here. Yeah, so well played by Bath. Um, I mean, Cambridge were the famous to win this according to pretty much everyone you spoke to. And here we go, Bath take them down. Three games to nothing. They had some unusual strategies, but they weren't really unusual. It just didn't seem like it was like what you'd expect. It wasn't like crazy because they just made it work. They clearly knew those heroes. They knew what they were doing. I was I was really impressed. They did great. Well done, Bath. Worthy winners. Absolutely, yeah. Just some great plays by everyone in the team. The Cambridge just couldn't deal with it, and and that's us. That's the um, that's the grand final. That's finished. That's a 3-0 Bath victory. I think we'll be handing over to um, to some hosts to hand out the prizes. I think. Yep, um, I, I assume there's prizes and stuff. So uh, thank you, Flax, for joining me. Oh, cheers, buddy. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Stick around.